Good morning, world. Welcome to my little admin vortex. But I've enjoyed bivvying out, it's been fine. The weather's been good. And it's nice to be in a sleeping bag and just outside for a change. This is uh, where I bivouacked last night. On a pretty low rent, but well, literally low rent, it's only 10 euros campsite can't really complain had a good night's sleep all good just packing up my admin is all over the place obviously so we're off day three out of the campsite and on to Paris horses come to say hello good morning beautifuls hey not need lovely mm, nah. I tell you what, it's a bit nippy. And I should have put my body warmer on. Dope. But I'm gonna stop for coffee at the first available opportunity. <laughs> Swallowing flies. It's just gone 7.30 in the morning on the ooh, 14th of July, 2013. <laughs> She'll be in Paris in three hours time. Jeune cut. Kind of cutting my own detail here, not following the instructions from the map. But I think, well, I know it's going to be much faster because the uh, the mapping takes you all over the place. No idea where I am. Northwest of Paris. Okay. Bloody Romans got everywhere. I don't know exactly where I am, but I know that I'm northwest of Paris. And if I head southeast, I'm going to end up in Paris. So fingers crossed, I'm heading more or less in the right direction. I just realised it's uh, a holiday today. Hence the roads are empty at quarter to nine in the morning. I imagine on a normal day, this would be chocker. So well done me. Even if only by chance, well done. Mile after mile of the same retail outlets. Could be anywhere. There we go, I think that's the Loire. I'll tell you what, I'm just going to lie. So here we are crossing the Loire. And just in case it's the Seine, wait for it. Here we are crossing the Seine, or maybe the Loire. It's a river, God only knows which one it is. How's that for deserted? Perfect morning for getting into central Paris. There is very little traffic. Now that is the same. There we go. We are now crossing the Seine. So the last one was the Loire. Cool. Can't believe I'm here. Thank you. English are free. Uh, I mean, did you see somewhere that we can see more or not? But as you do that by saying, I'm. Uh, I've come from the UK. Okay. I'm trying to. You know, I'm trying to get to the Eiffel Tower, but everything is closed off for the yeah. parades. Yeah, but I mean, there is. You check like one point was better than the other. Like you can have more view, or it's. Ah, it's good to go to the Eiffel Tower and not too down. Ah, we can see from there. Yeah. So, where are you from? I'm from here, but, uh, <laughs> but let's see, was it, was it like this? <laughs> no. Was it like this? It was like...
En fait, c'est lui qui est short les bases. Allez-y, allez-y, du coup. Bien sûr, bien sûr. This is about as close as I can get. I think. <sighs> Cobbles, just not great. Very boyish, that is. <sighs> they were on another repurposed old railway line. If it's like this, it'll be great. These tracks are great, but uh, I'm hoping for something smoother and faster if I'm going to get to Geneva without breaking on my bike or myself. And run! I need better routing software. I can't cope with hundreds of miles of this ship. <clears throat> Set the sat nav to car mode. So it's taking me on the roads, but it's uh, super quick. As long as we get there safely. So um, I flogged it quite hard to get to the campsite before they shut, because things here do close about sort of eight o'clock and uh, stuff. So I pushed it really hard. Looking forward to uh, a warm shower, cold beer, maybe a pool, Wi-Fi, somewhere to charge all my gear. And uh, what I've actually got is this, which I think says, don't leave any litter, probably. And uh, a car park which you can camp in. So, <sighs> go get in the bike, go, go and get the bike and uh, find somewhere to bed down. Awesome. Well, it's what we came for and it's what we're kitted out for. So, uh, it's no dramas. Here's to a long, not a longer day tomorrow, but here's to a busier, longer mileage day tomorrow. It's been great fun. Um, seeing James and Manon, um, having something to eat with Sarah, but uh, it has been great fun, no buts, no reservations. Uh, getting through Paris is quite hard work, quite hard work on the bike, because it's there are pathways, cycleways, but it's all up and down or gravel. And when I left, I followed uh, a route proposed to me by MapMe, my mapping application, offline mapping application, uh, which was fine, but it's a lesson learned, because it's, it's rooted me down brilliant bicycle paths if you're on a mountain bike or if you're on a gravel bike. And I've got my road bike and it's quite heavily loaded for a road bike. It's not a touring bike. Uh, it doesn't have massive wheels. It's, only got, it's got 28 tires on it. So it's not really set up for gravel. And I'm a bit worried all the time that uh, I'm gonna bust a spoke, which would be not game over, but it would be a real nose. So I'd have to go and find a bike shop and get my stuff sorted out because I didn't bring any spare sto spokes. Oh, don't. Um, so that was hard work and I learned lessons. So I've just changed my map settings to car from bicycle 
and uh, it put me on a decent roads. I was a bit worried about being on the roads, but you know what? They're pretty deserted. Um, long, fast, really smooth, tarmac roads. So I did some great speeds to get here. Uh, got here, I mean, not as quick as a car would, but um, I reckon 45 minutes earlier than if I'd stayed on the, on the bicycle setting coming down the gravel tracks. Uh, so I'm, I'm happy with that. Anyway, I was going to make use of this last light before we had to get set up, before it does actually get dark. Juice. Yeah. <sighs> 